audience, welcome back. Today you will not believe who is here with me. Marcus Zuzak, the author of the amazing book, The Book Thief. Today we'll be interviewing him about his new book. Hello, thank you for having me on your show. Oh no, it is an honor to have you here. Now please, tell us about your book. So in the beginning, Liesl gets introduced to her foster parents and she meets her future best friend, Rudy. Rudy and Liesl steal many things, including books and food. In the middle of the book, Liesl gets introduced to Max, which is a Jewish man who needed somewhere to hide. Liesl's family gladly took him in and he lived in their basement. Liesl and Max quickly bond and had a strong relationship throughout the story. I am excited to read the book. Liesl sounds like a very interesting person. How can you describe her? Well, Liesl is encouraged and a hard worker. She also is very kind and never gives up. She also is very creative, secretive, and a curious person. In the book, the text states, Liesl couldn't help asking the man what happened to his hand, which can be found on page 466. This shows that she's a very curious little girl and always asking questions. She sounds like a great person. How has she changed throughout the story? In the beginning, she was a sad little girl. She had already gone through many changes that were unexpected. For example, on page 36, the text says, those first few months were definitely the hardest. Every night, Liesl would have a nightmare. So in the beginning, Liesl didn't really know her place in the world just yet. But in the middle of the story, her true personality starts to shine and she's really happy. At the end, she is really protective of her loved ones and will do anything to help them. On page 376, the text states, Liesl had Rudy's hands and her mama's. This can prove to us that she loves her family and can comfort them even in times when she needs comforting. What would you say the theme of the book is? The theme of the book theme is courage because Liesl had to use her courage to get books, hide Max in her basement, and stand up for her family. In the text it states, and she walked over and hugged him for the first time, page 222. She used her courage to hug Max and make him feel welcome and at home. Now, what I am wondering is how you got an idea for such a great story. I did not know any other books like this one until people started to tell me otherwise. A book similar to The Book Thief is Number the Stars. They are similar because they both have events of hiding Jews from the German and they both have main characters of German girls. Another book similar to this one is Milkweed. This is about a Jewish boy who struggles and fights for survival. Liesl also fights for survival, so they both have that in common. Another amazingly written book that has some similarities to The Book Thief is The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. The Boy in the Striped Pajamas is similar to The Book Thief because the two main characters have different perspectives of life than the Jews introduced into their stories. The last book that has compared to The Book Thief is The Girl in the Blue Coat. These books are similar because they both involve people loving each other even during the hardest times in life. How would you say Liesl's problem affected her? Well, an internal conflict that Liesl faced was having nightmares every night for a long time. This affected her because it scared her and brought back memories from the past. An external conflict that Liesl faced was when her and Max did not know each other but both felt connected to each other. This caused them both to feel awkwardness towards each other. Another in an internal conflict that Liesl faced was not trusting her foster parents when she first met them. This affected her because she had no one to trust and feel comfortable talking to. Another external conflict that Liesl faced was when Liesl and the mayor became not friends because the mayor fired Liesl's mom. This affected Liesl because Liesl could not go to the mayor's house to read the books anymore. The last internal conflict that Liesl faced was not knowing how to read. This affected her because she really was interested in all the stories she had. The last external conflict that Liesl faced was when her and her father had to be spread apart because her father had to go into war. This affected Liesl because she could not have her father's support. I'm so excited to read the book, but can you tell the audience where you can buy your book? You can buy my book at Barnes & Noble's, Kobo, Google Playbooks, eBay, Walmart, Target, and Amazon. Wow, that is a lot of places. Now here's the trailer for the movie coming soon.
trailer. Thank you so much for jo joining us today, Marcus. Thank you so much for inviting me. That is it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Goodbye.